Hello everyone. Thank you for checking out today's video. In this video, we're going to be covering related lists on ServiceNow. Now I'm not going to be showing you all how to set up relationships between tables on ServiceNow, but what I will be showing you how to do is how to edit the related lists at the bottom of forms on ServiceNow. Now in another video, like I said, I'll be covering the relationships. So please look for that in the description. I'll post that as, uh, I'll add that link as soon as I get that video posted. Alrighty. So while we're on the incident form, let's say we want to change the related list at the bottom. So the related list, as you can see, I keep scrolling down is the bottom section here. And each one of these tabs is a different table. And each one of these tables have a relationship to the incident table. Now in a previous uh, session, I went ahead and added the change request related list to the incident table. And let's go ahead and just show how we could um, maybe change the order, but then I'll also show you how you could add in some new ones too. So all you got to do is right click in the subheader or you can click on additional actions, come over to configure, go to related lists. And this is your related list. Each one of these have a relationship to the incident table. And um, this is our existing related list. So let's say we want to move up the change request, maybe second, we'll put it second, but uh, we could, could always add in another one if we wanted to, but for this video, um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys how to get to this and how you could add and remove different related lists on the selected form. Okay, so we just moved up the change request one to second. So it should be second on our related list tabs. And there it is. All right. And as you can see, the breadcrumb trail here is that it's looking for change requests where the parent is this incident. Um, we don't have any, but let's change that. So let's click on new. Um, and you could also do just edit. You can kind of do a quick little picker that way, but let's make a new change request and then associate it to this uh, incident. So we're clicking on new, we'll do a new normal change. And you can see that it populated that ink in the parent. And I don't think I need to fill anything else out, right? I'm just kind of creating this for demonstration purposes. So let's save it. Okay, and now that we have an associated ink to this change, or um, this ink is now the parent to a change request, it should appear at the bottom of that related list on that selected record. So let's go over back to the incident form to the bottom, and you can see now we have a change request there because we have a change request where the parent is this ink right here. And it's that easy. And like I said, you could also go over to edit. So in case you wanted to um, add quite a few changes, you already know the change numbers, and you just want to add this ink as the parent, you could just do it that way too, using the slush bucket. All right, guys, that about covers related lists. If you have any questions uh, or things that I didn't cover, please feel free to leave the comments down in the description, and please check for more videos soon. Thank you.